hello and welcome back to this edition of Southern Sports Network. I'm Cameron Riffer here to update you on the latest in Moxon Sports News. Today we're lucky we have two people from the Florida Southern men's basketball team here for an interview. We have uh, senior Slinky Jones and assistant coach Nate Champion. How are you guys doing today? Doing pretty well, thanks. So uh, just to get right off into it, um, you guys started the season ranked pretty well as preseason. So just talk about kind of the expectations you guys had going into the season, and how you guys are just trying to like live up to it and where you guys are now ranked. Um, uh, we had a good last season, so that gave us a lot of motivation going into this year. Uh, we kind of hit our stride early last year and we like better, was better than predicted or projected, I mean. So we knew this year we finally had like all the complete pieces that we've been looking for. So we knew that we could be good and getting off to that early start just showed us how good we really could be going into the end of the year. Yeah, you guys are four and one right now, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, coming off the Thanksgiving tournament, you guys had a one win and one loss, correct? Yes, yes sir. Yeah. yeah. We had a, a good win against a very solid Merrimack team on Friday night, and then uh, we fell short on Saturday. Stonehill shot a, a really high percentage at 50 some percent. Yeah, it's so, kind of hard to win those games, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah, and we didn't really execute on the offensive end, but you know we've cleaned some things up in the practice the past couple of days, and looking forward to tonight. Yeah, so tonight, yeah, we play rival Tampa. Um, what do you guys try to see as a coach? What do you want to see, like, an in intensity level from your players? And then as a, as a player, what do you want to see from the fans? I think uh, just a complete focus for 40 minutes tonight. Um, we've had a couple lulls here and there uh, that have hurt us. And I think, you know, in the past couple of days, we've just really been working on, you know, just having that focus and intensity be there for the full 40 minutes. You know, piggyback on that, we haven't had a complete game yet. Like, we've had a good first half fall off on the second half or a good second half and get off to a bad start. So tonight we're just looking to have a complete game, get off early and keep it going through the second half. Yeah, and it should be a big game. I'm sure a lot of people will be. I mean, it's a home game against Tampa, yep. first one of the year. I'm sure the whole crowd will be going insane. Exactly. So I'm sure you guys will beat <laughs> off of that, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. And then also um, just kind of talking about at the beginning that you guys played UF, mm -hmm. um, what, how, like what was that experience like and how have you used that as like playing against a Division One team to kind of fuel like how you guys should be at a competition level and the difference of just competition and intensity? I mean, it was a great experience for us. Um, we got going after a couple minutes. I feel like we was giving them, like, we was praising them too much. Mm -hmm. So we were, like, getting down on ourselves. But then when we seemed like they're just basketball players like yeah. us, we can play with them. We were just doing really well. Um, the score might not reflect that, but it gave us a lot of confidence going into this year. And like I said, we got off to a good start. We feel good in practice. I mean, with our one loss, I feel like it's a humbling experience for yeah. us. But with all that being said, I feel like that Florida game really gave us a lot of confidence going into the season. And I think too, you know, with the Florida game, it was something that we had worked our program up to. So last That's year true, we kind of yeah. hit our stride and we made a good run at the end of the year last year, just into the playoffs and into the second round of the NCAA tournament. And we returned our starting five. And we brought some younger guys in, but, you know, we have a lot of experience. And then to go up there and to really play with Florida for the 28 minutes that we did, I mean, they started out and they were beating us pretty good. But, you know, for a good stretch of the game, we were even with them. So, um, and that kind of gives us confidence going forward. And I think for these guys and, and for the rest of the team, it's just a good experience. Yeah. And it shows, you know, just keep doing the things that we can do and, and the, do the things we can control. And then if we do that, we'll, we can play with just about anybody. And then you mentioned experience. Slinky, you're a senior this year. So um, just trying to talk about with being a senior and having that experience, just talking about like your leadership role and then also being that this would be your last year, talk about how you're trying to enjoy each moment of each game and just kind of not let it just slip by you and go like that. Yeah, it's real bittersweet. Um, yeah. Since freshman, I've been looking forward to this year. And now that's here, it's like, I wish I can go back. But um, I just take everything that I've been through and try to, give it to the younger kids like the freshmen I try to keep them on the right path like uh, freshman days I know how them days get like I just try to keep them up and make sure their heads are up let them know what's coming ahead for them I don't know I'm like a big brother to everybody so <laughs> definitely I mean Slinky's done a great job he is that big brother figure yeah. to the guys um, you know and, and younger guys you hit a wall as a young player and you're a freshman you're coming in and at the beginning of the year you're extremely excited you know, and it's then, all new to you, yeah. Yeah, and then that constant grind, it catches up to you. And, you know, having someone like Slinky who's really been through it and has matured through all of it and kind of has learned and improved every year, um, he can really relate to the guys. And he does a great job of that because I think sometimes we have freshmen and 
and even our younger guys, our sophomores too, they get frustrated and they have a hard time sometimes dealing with just the everyday, thing, right. which is normal, you know. So, and I think Slinky just does a great job of kind of putting her arm, his arm around him and being like, you know, it's okay, you'll get through it and you'll be better because of it. All right, well, thank you guys. We appreciate it. Um, men's basketball team tonight against uh, Tampa. Women's at 5.30, men's at 7.30. Thank you guys for being here. Now we're going to give it to Jacqueline. She's going to fill us in on the rest of the uh, Florida Southern Sports News. Thanks, Cam. This past Friday, the women's basketball team fell to Lemoyne College at the Eckerd Thanksgiving Classic. The Mocs were ahead the majority of the game, but the Dolphins had a strong fourth period, ultimately giving them the victory. Both the Dolphins and the Mocs left the holiday contest with matching 3-1 records. Bouncing back fast from Friday's loss, the women's basketball team secured a win against Damon on Saturday. Leading the Mocs was freshman Mackenzie Steele with seven three-pointers, totaling 21 points. The Mocs will be back tonight home against Tampa. Last Friday, men's basketball starter Brett Hansen scored a career-high 30-point game against Merrimack, giving him 1,000 points. The Mocs had a 14-point lead at the end of the game, overcoming an early deficit of 8 points. On Saturday, the Mocs faced their first defeat of the year, falling just 10 points short to Stonehill. The Mocs scored the opening shot of the game, but quickly fell to the Skyhawks on the following possession. Lead scorers for the Mocs included Brett Hansen with 23 and Slinky Jones with 20. The team plays again tonight against Tampa. Thank you for joining us on this edition of Southern Sports Network. I'm Jacqueline Washington, and we'll see you next week.